Well, welcome to another edition of uh, Season of the Fan of, of the Flyers. Um, yours truly, uh, TJ Fan. But, um, yeah, well, uh, this... Uh, well, this concludes the uh, the NHL uh, trade deadline. Um, the Flyers have officially uh, uh, trade uh, trade 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 away for uh, trade away James uh, James Van Riemsdyk. He he is now with the Detroit Red Wings, so he is finally traded. Also, in other news that. Um, that uh, that um, that the Flyers traded um, uh, Zach McEwen to uh, Brendan uh, yeah, Brendan Lemieux from from the Los Angeles Kings, and so do I think it's a good trade? Well, I don't know. We shall see. But but you know the Flyers now have cap space. But you know, but um, but but listen. Um, what I want what I want to talk to you about is that you know. Look, do I still love the Flyers? Yes, I still love the Flyers, and I'll, I'll I will always love them. Okay, but I don't like but I don't like the direction that the Flyers are going into. I don't like it at all. Okay, I don't like. You know, I, I don't like what Chuck Fletcher is doing. I think you know he's, he's he's. I think he's, I think he's, do, I think he's doing a horrendous job. Okay. Okay, okay, Chuck Fletcher, uh, Dave Scott, and the whole the ent whole entire Comcast Spectacor is going is going to hell in the handbasket. And 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 uh, those guys in, in in this organization, they just can't do a goddamn thing right. I'm sorry to say, but they but they're, but they're not. I mean, you know, it all starts. It all, you know, the the only. Th Let me. I'll tell you straight. I'll tell you straight up as a Flyers fan. the 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 only thing, the only the only the 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 only thing, very the only thing that was very good. Uh, uh, recently was bringing in the Flyers head coach uh, John Tortorella. That was the only thing good that 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 the Flyers organization did was was to bring in uh, the head coach uh, the, the head coach uh, Torts. You know he tell you know he you know he tells he he's very honest. He tells you straight up, and uh, and uh, he and. Uh, he he was very honest that the Flyers aren't going to make the playoffs, and I, I, I and uh, you know what, I I knew it from the very beginning. Okay, I wasn't expecting the Flyers to make the playoffs, and uh, and and uh, and we weren't supposed to. Okay. And you know they're not supposed to be. You know they were supposed to suck from the from the from the from the from the, from, from the very beginning of of, of the season. Okay. You know, I, you know, I'm still pissed off. I'm still pissed off at at uh, at Chuck Fletcher from 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 during the off season, during NHL free agency day for not bringing in Johnny Goodrow. And I'm not the only, and I'm not the only one who feels that way. I mean, you you waste you you waste away players bringing in Nick Delorier, which. Which is an absolute bust. Okay. I mean, Tony D'Angelo was okay, but, 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 um, but Nick Delorier was a was an absolute bust. What I mean, why the hell would you waste a player, waste money by bringing him in by 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 bringing him in here? Okay. I mean, he's a good fighter, but that's all he is. You know you. you I mean, it's 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 a it it's 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 a waste. It's it's a waste of money for God's sakes. And also, also sell also sell the team for God's sakes. Okay, just, just you know the Flyers need to be sellers. 
you know, this this organization gets keeps getting worse and worse. And uh, and, and and the bottom line is that this uh, the, uh, Chuck Fletcher, uh, Dave Scott, and this whole and the ent whole entire Flyers organization. It's it's going to get a lot uglier before it gets beautiful again. I mean, do I think the Flyers do I think the Flyers are a playoff team? No, no, absolutely not. They're and and they're and they're not going to be for the next uh, for the next few years. And and uh, I wanted I wanted I you know I wanted uh, Connor Bedard uh, to come to the Flyers. Uh, if if the Flyers were dead last. We we would be we would we would we would be the we would be the we would get the first draft pick. We would get the first draft pick to get uh, Connor Bedard. And and uh, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen, right now. I don't think I don't think it will be. But I think. Uh, but. I but um, but but the second pick uh, looks looks pretty looks pretty solid. Uh, Zach, um, Zach Benson, and uh, I mean we'll see. I mean we'll see how he does, but I just don't. I just don't. You know, but I wanted the Flyers to suck from the, from the very beginning of the season. This way, this way we would we would we would rebuild, and uh, and and get and get the first first round draft pick. Uh, I was I was hoping I was hoping too that we would get um, Connor Bedard. As a matter of fact, I was watching uh, I was watching the the CHL earlier on NHL Network, and uh, Connor Bedard scored a hat trick and and actually four goals uh, for uh, for uh, Regina St. Pat's versus uh, Winnipeg, and. Uh, I, w I was watching that, and uh, and earlier I um, I I also get free center. I get also watching center ice, and uh, and uh, it was the Columbus Blue Jackets versus uh, the Seattle Kraken, and uh, and of and of course I was watching uh, watching uh, Johnny Goodrow. But 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 you know just you know just for the record. But just for the record, do I, do I still love the Flyers? Yes, I still love the Flyers. I will always love the Flyers. Okay, but but I but I don't like but I don't like I don't like the direction that the Flyers are going into. I really don't. Okay. I mean. I mean Chuck. I mean. I mean, I mean Chuck Fletcher is is so delusional. I don't. I mean, I don't know what the hell he's doing. To be honest with you, you know, he he is the absolute worst. He 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 really he he really is. I mean, he he needs he needs to, he needs to get his ass fired, okay. You know, he's 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 do. He, I mean, he is he is the pits. Of, of this of, of this organization, and so is Dave Scott. I mean the fly the fly. I mean, ever since ever since ever since Ed Snyder ever ever since Ed Snyder died, the Flyers have have just gotten have have, have just gotten bad to worse, and and uh, it, it's going and uh, and I'll I'll tell you and let me uh, you've heard me say this and I'll say it again the the uh, the whole infl the the whole entire the whole entire executive and and, uh, and the flyers uh, Comcast spectac and the, the Comcast Spectacor, it's going to get a lot ugly and it's going to get a, it's going to get a lot it's going to get ugly it's going to get a lot uglier before it gets beautiful again. But it's just it's just it's just monotonous. I mean it's 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 it's. It's terrible the way the Flyers are going into. I and I miss, I I you know I I really miss the Flyers when they were good. I I really do. 
They're, you know, I know they're not a playoff team, and, and, and they're not going to be. I don't think the Flyers are going to be a playoff team next year either. But I might be dead before the Flyers win the Stanley Cup. You know, I hate to say this, but, but, it's, but it's true. I mean, the Flyers, I mean, I mean, the Flyers haven't won the Stanley Cup in 45-plus years. Okay, I, I want I want a good I, I want I want the Flyers to be I want the Flyers to be dead last from the very beginning this year so we can get a good generational draft pick. Okay. Okay, let let the team sucks. Okay, that's fine. Let the team sucks. Okay, let let them suffer for the next uh, few, uh, few years or however. But but get but get. But get a good gen, but get a good generational draft pick. That's how that's how you get good again. Okay. And uh, John Tortorella was very honest uh, with us that that the Flyers are not a, or the Flyers are not going to be a playoff team. And and uh, you know what? I believe him. That was that was the only thing that was the only thing good that the Flyers did was get was to get John Tortorella as, as their head coach. And he, John Tortorella can only do so much. Okay. He can only do so much. He's doing, he's doing the best he can. Okay. He's, you know, he's only, he can only teach uh, so much with these players. But as far, as far, but as far as the rest of the organization goes, like, 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 uh, like Chuck Fletcher, Dave Scott, and and the entire Comcast Spectacor, they they are, they they are horrendous. Absolute horrendous. They they, they all need they all need to be fired. You know I don't want to put I don't want to put politics into the mix, but but all I'm going to say is that they they are. They are the they are the pits, they are the absolute worst. But and the other thing is that the Flyers uh, trade away uh, Patrick Patrick Brown to the uh, uh, to uh, to the Ottawa Senators for the sixth round dra draft pick. And uh, you know you know uh, you know last year. Or the year before that, you trade away Shane Gossespierre and you get nothing in, in return. When he when he went to the Arizona Coyotes and he's now and he and he's and he's now with the Carolina Hurricanes. But but look, you know. But but look, I'm still going to watch every game on TV. I'm going. I'm going to the Flyers game at the end of, uh, uh, in the beginning of, uh, actually April first when they play the Buffalo Sabers. I'm going. I'm going with my friends. I'm also going to the Phantoms game with, uh, with, uh, with Mighty Fan next Saturday against uh, Bellevue Senators, and uh, shouts shoutouts to uh, my man uh, Kenny, who's my si ticket sales rep, and uh, and you saw him on TV with the hometown heroes at the Phantoms game. Which was I think it was last week. Uh, it was either on uh, NHL Network or uh, or uh, WFMZ Channel sixty nine, which they showed a fa which they, which the, which they, which they show the Phantoms on TV. But the Phantoms are, the Phantoms have have been fun to watch, but but you know they're you know they're but. I'm looking forward to it uh, next Saturday, but well, I'm I'm almost uh, 15 minutes into this video, but but uh but yeah, before I sign off, uh, if you like this video, uh, hit those likes but hit, hit the like buttons, you know, give give me as many likes as you as you can on this video, uh, hit the bell icon so uh, so you can so you can subscribe to this channel, feel free to send me a comment. Uh, and and uh, whatever uh, whatever you want to do, uh, but I also want to give a shout out to uh, the uh, the Philly captain. Great job, 
for what you do. Shouts to uh, Mighty Fan uh, for uh, doing uh, Season of the Fan of the Philadelphia Eagles. And also in the Life Series, uh, check him out. Also check out uh, uh, Jersey Jaguar for Luca, um, a sports rival, read from uh, Mac. Uh, King, uh, Kings to Throwback, shouts to him. And also uh, shouts to Big Slim. Uh, and uh, and also shouts to uh, uh, Shannon, aka the Hockey Guy, which which uh, he he's always uh, on top of uh, on on top of his uh, a game when it comes to uh, hockey. Uh, but you know, with his jerseys and and, and his hockey news. But but um, all right, everybody, take care. And uh, but yeah. I just want to see progression for the Flyers, but you know it is you know it is what it is. We'll have to wait. We'll have to wait a, a few. We'll have to wait uh, at least a few more years so uh, when the Flyers get good again. But what can I say? But all right, take you take care now. All right, bye bye.